I'm a heavy user of modified stretchers, uh, particularly for my coons. Um, I pressure wash, pr pressure flesh, everything that uh, that I I catch, and so I get I, I flesh the inside with the pressure wash, but I also douse. I, I basically pressure wash the outside too, just to kind of clean the hide up, which gives me a damp hide, um, and so I like I like the wire because that lets the the fur breathe and dry out uh, as well as the flesh side um, and so I was going to show you here I've had some questions about how I modify my wire stretchers one benefit of the wood as you can see here this is a coon that I got put up and you can get a nice even and this is not totally even but you can get a nice even uh, even looking pelt uh, you have control because you know ideal scenario you got a flat base here you got the tail that's stretched out nice and uh, and then on the other side you've got your your viewing window here if you just use I don't have one in here but if you just use wire stretchers they'll have these uh claw clamp things and so it'll, it'll have three prongs so you only you only have the ability to hook the, the hide right in the dead center so you can get it okay you can hook each one of these on a prong and it's it's kind of locked so it it stays tight let me go get one hang on okay so here's your wire stretcher this is what actually holds the the fur in place and kind of holds it taut um, you can see you got these three sharp prongs and so what you do is you'll hook the hide the fur uh, you know at two points you hook those there and then you pull this and it's uh, the way that the way that it's angled it kind of holds everything tight it doesn't let the fur relax and so you can kind of get a good stretch on the fur the only problem is you don't get as uh, the uniform look because you either hook it you know somewhere here in the tail or up here at the base of the tail you pull that thing you you know you cinch it down tight and so you get a fur that's kind of v-shaped um, and so you know when it grades you're gonna get the size wise you're probably gonna get the shortest they're not gonna they're not gonna measure it all the way to the tail where it's the longest they're gonna measure it up here where it's the shortest um, the shortest length hang on let me put one on this this uh, stretcher and let me show you so you're trying to make it where you can see this is now this is not a coon stretcher but it's the quickest wire stretcher that I could grab so what you'll do here is you'll place you'll grab this uh, this hook and I'm gonna pierce that hide right there and on the other side I'm gonna do the same pierce it right there and then pull it down snug and you can see it kind of locks in place and holds your length spinning around I'm gonna do the same on the back side but like I said I've just got the just got the one point here so I'm gonna lock it in on the tail here and I'm gonna pull it down snug you can see it holds the length try to get up here where you can see you know it's there's no uniformity to this this height it just kind of bends around and lollygags around so typically larger hides are going to pay more um, larger hides of the same quality and so you can see I mean you've got the potential to stretch this hide another two inches if you were to put it on a board versus right here like I said this is this is your length measurement that they're gonna give you right here I mean that that could take a coon from a, a large to a double XL or a jumbo um, so that's the that's the downfall you, you saw me put it on how quick I put it on here super easy and quick to use but that's the downfall whereas if you got something like a board you get a nice uniform flat and even like I say this one's I, I pulled it a little bit long but anyway you get a, a much more uniform look so there's people that will go back and forth both ways um, but regardless I was going to show you the whole point of this video was to show you how I modify my stretchers uh, my wire stretchers with wood and it's it's so simple it's ridiculous 
Um, there's absolutely nothing to it. I take a, so my coon stretchers here, I put a measure on them. They are uh, right about eight inches wide, depending on how tightly squeezed in they are. So I buy a one by eight, it's just a pine one by eight, and I put it right in the center of the, uh, of the wire stretcher. I take me some pipe strapping here, and I cut me about a three inch piece and I take some half inch wood screws and uh, I just take that strapping, put it on one side and kind of and screw my screws in, fold the strapping around, put it on the other side, screw my screws in and that's it. Um, it slides and it adjusts. So the, the way that I like to keep tension and try to get the, the best size as possible is I'll hang them upside down and so I'll put a uh, let me show you how show you up close how I got this here like I said this is nothing more than pipe strapping and half inch wood screws that I'll put on both sides and it holds it it holds it fairly tight but it, you know it can also adjust to the size um, and then I'll, I'll put a uh, an eye hook in the bottom and I'll, I usually throw one of these carabiners on here and uh, and then I hang I hang all my stuff as you can as you can kind of see in the background I hang everything and so that keeps a little bit of tension on the uh, that keeps a little bit of tension on the hide to try to keep it the raccoon hide is not heavy enough so it's not like it over stretches but it keeps a little bit of tension on it so hopefully I can get the the, the best uh, the best length out of it. The downfall to this is you can't monitor your length so I you know I I could I could write it on here but the way it adjusts you don't you know you don't have the leeway or the ability to you know stretch it to a jumbo or to a certain size you're kind of stuck with what you're stuck with and I don't get into over analyzing I just put my fur up as best I can and, and ship it off. Uh, I will say I did a few with a um, 12 inch piece of wood and then uh, one buys and then I, I did a few uh, the bulk of mine are this uh, 16 inch piece I like the 16 inch piece better because the 12 inch you really you're really limited um, on and I usually try to keep it when I'm when I'm tacking it out I'll tack out the the base of the hide or the, the bottom end of the hide you know near the top of the board and then you know I've got plenty of room for the tail. But you can see on this one that uh, that uses up the whole board. You know if I if I tack the base of the hide out right here, my tail is right here at the end. So that 16 inch just gives me a little extra room. Uh, really and truly, I don't necessarily need it. You can get a you know another at least another board, if not another two, uh, depending on the size that you buy. If you just uh, shorten your shorten it by six inches but for me that 16 inch piece fits well so that's what I like a 16 inch uh, 16 inch long one by eight pipe strapping and some half inch wood screws and uh, that's how I modify my wire stretchers and then like I say put a eye hook in the end of it where I can hold them up and keep a little tension on the hide and uh, the, the kind of the downfall of the downside of pine is you do have to use a nail versus you know like basswood man that stuff using those push pins is really nice and convenient but anyway that's uh that's what that is that's uh that's how I, how I modify my stretchers one thing I forgot to mention is a lot of my stretchers I just left the bottom on and that's not a that's not a huge issue because uh, they're kind of long, and the, the only issue that I run into is being able to uh, get enough length out of my my furs to hang the uh, the hides up. But I do have some, so I'm getting at this these bases here. Um, if I do have some that are overly long, I'll uh, I'll just kind of angle the board a little bit. If you, can, if you can see that uh, to get it out now you will kind of you will definitely be able to see that board outline in the uh, in the hide so um, I did I have taken some and cut the bottom off 
I like that because it gives gives the hide a cleaner look. The only problem is it's kind of a a pain to do anything with because there's if you go to mess around with them too much they'll fall apart or fall off. So still uh, still trying to manage that and and wide open to any spectacular ideas that any y'all have that are uh, users of modified wire stretchers, but. That's uh, like I say, that's something I've messed around with a little bit. I've still got, I probably run about half and half, cut off versus not, and I'm not sure which ones I prefer, but uh, just always tinkering around, trying to find ways to improve.